God gave me a vision and he said we can do it in 21 days. I'm asking 2,100 people to give $2,100 in the next 21 days. And what we're calling it is out of the harbor. You see, a ship is safe in the harbor, but that's not what it was designed for. And right now, our ship is in the harbor, but you're going to help me through focus and resources to come sailing out of the harbor, not next month, not next year, but now. Now, <laughs> one thing I will say is that this boy sure enough knows how to use this freaking internet. Because if my math is mathing 2100 times $2,100 equals $4,410,000. And I love how he said that him and Lady Shawnee were on sabbatical. Shawnee don't know what the hell a sabbatical is. They were on vacation while all of the people were sweating through all of the vicissitudes of the storm. And now they can come back off a of vacation and ask for four million dollars? <laughs> oh, but I guess that ain't none of my business, y'all. I guess I better stay focused because I reckon that baby boy's power bottom buddy must have had something to do with this four million dollar money grab telethon idea. I believe you, Lord, to make a way out of no way. I believe you in tough times and trying times. I believe you. I was talking to somebody whose church was damaged in the flood, and I said, this is a moment of expansion. He said, expansion? I said, yes. God, I said, some kind of way God is going to use this turbulence to expand your territory and increase your faith. The devil might mean it for evil, but God is going to make it good. I know I sound crazy. I know I sound retarded. I know it sounds like I don't have compassion but some kind of way God is going to turn that thing around and give you double for your trouble. Glory to God. I feel that. Can you feel that in the room right now? I feel the Spirit of God speaking to His people right now. If you're watching online, the Spirit of God is speaking to you right now. Don't just play it off. This is the anointing of the Holy Spirit saying, I will give you double for everything you went through. Well now, isn't that interesting? I guess everybody is raising money off of it. And so, I guess we can now see where this double for your trouble revelation came from. I mean, now that we have received this power bottom pep talk. I want to increase the size of our sanctuary by two. I want to double the size of it so that no one who has an opportunity to get in is turned away because we don't have a seat. We can't wait on the insurance company to do that. I need you from around the world. If I've ever preached a message that has touched your spirit, if I've ever spoken into your life and you started the company that you were not going to start had I not pushed you in faith. If you were thinking about ending your own life, but somehow God gave me a word that made you fight to live another day. I need you. Okay. So now we know where this $4 million, double for your trouble, double the size of the church money grab came from. And keep in mind that this is in addition to the money that's going to be coming from the insurance company. I mean, we have one saying double for your trouble, and we have the other one saying he wants to quote unquote double the size of his church edifice. But I guess I better stay focused. When we purchased 6650 Rankin Road just about 10 years ago, the property was worth $9.6 million. Through negotiations, we got it for 6.2. Amen. Amen. Since then, we've built the Dream Center and we've rehabbed the building, got the building reappraised, the building reappraised for nearly $20 million. We owe $3 million on the original note, which means we have $17 million worth of equity in the building we've only had five years. 
I say that to let you know your offerings don't go towards my suits. You don't get $17 million in equity in five years if you're mishandling the money. I've got to say that publicly because the people who are against God think that every time you raise an offering, it goes to enrich the pastor. And it does not. Not at this church, at least. Not at this church, either. Through the wisdom of God and the new appraisal, our staff just decided a few months before the storm came, hey, the building is worth more, so maybe we should readjust the insurance policy. We readjusted the insurance policy to cover the spread of what we had built. Now, for all of those who will say, don't worry about it, they've got insurance, they've obviously never filed an insurance claim before. Let me give you a lesson in insurance. If this iPad cost $400 new, and I've had it for 10 years, when the insurance adjuster shows up, he's going to give me the depreciated value of this iPad. Anybody got a smartphone in the building? You paid 1200 for it. Try to sell it back and see if they give you 1200 for it. When you sell it back, they give you a couple hundred dollars because it's the depreciated value that the insurance company makes their adjustment on. Which means everything that we had in the building that was old, the insurance company wants to give us the depreciated value of that asset. Filing an insurance claim will not get us back at 6650 Rankin Road. But giving is what got us in, and giving is what will get us back in the door. Okay, so why is it that when people with common sense get on this church house internet and say something about these money grabs, you be on here propagating, you want to call us people who are against God. I mean, just because we have common sense, we must be against God. I just call a spade a spade, baby boy. And I do so based on my many years of expertise as an insurance defense trial attorney in the state of Texas. So you can't give me a lesson on insurance when in one breath you're telling us about how much the value of the real property has appreciated. Then in the same breath, you want to flip the script and start talking about the depreciation value of the personal property contents that were inside of the real property that you just told us appreciated. I mean, while you were increasing the value of the insurance on the real property, why didn't you increase the value of the insurance on the contents as well? And I'm glad you mentioned the Dream Center wherein you broke ground while married to one woman, Lady Felicia, and you had the grand opening ribbon cutting ceremony while you were married to a whole nother woman, Lady Shawnee. Oh, but I guess that ain't none of my business neither. Because if you think the money grab telethon is over, well, you better think again because it ain't over. $2,100, you can give 700 a week. The Lord gave me a word. By the time Thanksgiving here, we'll be thankful because we'll have everything we need. Just, just by a show of hands, how many of y'all will join me in giving either $2,100, all of the $2,100 people, just stand with me right now. Just stand with me right now. Come on and praise God for them. How many of you all say, God, if you bless me, I'll do it. I want you to stand by faith. God, if you bless me, I'll do it. If you ain't going to do it by faith and you're going to give $21 towards it for three weeks, I just want you to stand. Everybody who's watching me online, I'm counting on you too because there are not enough people in this room to get us back in. And if we've been good to you, if the word of God that I've shared across our pulpit has been good to you, and if you are part of Lighthouse Nation, if you're in Mighty Network, I need you to partner with us too. You can click that QR code. The quicker we do this, the quicker we can go back home. And by the way, we're only here for four weeks. I have no idea where we're going to be in September. There are no venues big enough to house all of us. And, and if they are big enough, they don't have the dates. And if they do have the dates and they're big enough, they don't want us in. But God's going to find a way. He's going to make a way. Everybody get your gift in your hand. 
I think if you have a physical gift, are they passing it? You're passing it to my right, your left. If you're giving online, you can do it right now. I need you to give because our mortgage doesn't stop even though we have a building we can't use. So we, we've got, it's like having two houses. We've got to pay the house we can't use and we've got to rent the house that ain't ours. All right, and if you look at this building, let me tell you, it takes a year's salary to rent this building. And because of the graciousness of the Osteens and their staff, they have brought that price down to only staff members and security. Come on and praise God. They're not even renting the building to us. God, I pray that you would bless every giver, that you would multiply it a hundred times. And whatever you do for the lighthouse, do for their house. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Pass your gift to my right, your left. Okay. In the blessed name of Jesus, if you give $700 per week, by the time Thanksgiving comes, you won't be thankful in this inflation. You'll be broke. But while I pray about it, let's take time out for a moment of worship and praise. <laughs> 